This is another reminder to myself on how to do things in art and design. Sometimes it's difficult to remember all the ins and outs of the software and uh, uh, the help is not very good. I mean, they got good online uh, explanations, but since the software is evolving all the time, it gets difficult to follow. So I do this stuff to remind myself how to do things. So what I have here is uh, is a small PCB that I have uh, uh, designed here, just to explain to myself about a particular violation that happens uh, when uh, I import the design into the PCB, and uh, the footprint of the components they are too close to one another. So there are violations. In this particular case, if I hover over. I can uh, see in the left uh, corner that it says clearance constraint 0.2 millimeters, which is less than 0.254 millimeters. So there is a, 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 a violation of the clearance rule. So if I go to design and check rules, then I can see that the clearance rule says that it has to be 0.254, and uh, I have a rule here. That says ignore path to path clearances within a footprint, but that is that is set to J1, and uh, this is RN1, D2, and U1, etc. So so that one won't apply to that. What I can do is I can go to rules and I can modify that and uh, and put it so it will actually uh, clear that one RN1. Okay, R1, I put R1 here. Yes, and uh, now I apply, and that's it. Now it's clear. There is no more uh, rule violation because the fine pitch has a higher priority, so it's, uh, it's uh, checked uh, last. And uh, because I have excluded component R1, so it won't, uh, it won't generate any errors. But uh, the problem with this approach is that now we have RN2, D2, D1, etc., etc., which are still violating the rule. One way to go around this is to uh, add or in component, component uh, D1, for instance, and uh, apply and now D1 is not violating the rule. Of course, the, this is kind of like tedious because I will have to add or all the components that are violating the rule and that, that, can, that can be a, a pretty long list. So I won't be doing that. So I will revert this to J1, okay? So all the components that were violating, they are still violating the clearance rule, okay? I, 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 yes, I would like to correct them, so I miss that one, yeah, and that's it, everything is back to violations everywhere. I will save the PCB, so how can I go around this, and the way to go around this is to create classes, component classes, so I'm going to select that uh, particular resistor, and I'm going to add a class that, that uh, will be added as a parameter. Parameter has to be named class name. This is mandatory. Alt won't understand any other way around. Now the class name can be whatever I'm going to call it fine pitch. But it can be whatever. And I would say okay. And I would import it and import changes from and it says that uh, one parameter has changed, so it will be added. I validate and I will execute those changes. And uh, now I'm going to create a rule for that particular one. And uh, I'm going to go to rules and I'm going to modify this one. I'm going to say custom. I'm going to, I'm going to use the query builder and I'm going to say it belongs to component class and all components. and no, there is no here. That that class is not here. So what happened? 
so what happened is that I have to go to project I have to go to project options and I have to go to class generation and make sure that this is checked and this is checked and then press OK I'm going to import the, the changes one more time and uh, validate and execute and close and now I'm going to go to rules and try one more time belong to component class and there it is find pitch the class that I have just created and I say OK and then all the components that have that are members of that class will ignore path to path clearances within the footprint so let's see how that works I say OK and that's it there is no more violations in that I, but still I have all the others so I will have to remember that and uh, either way I can go one by one so like this I will add parameter and then class name fine pitch or if I have multiples I can always do like this select similar and uh, well that one is going to be the same and then apply and I'm going to uh, add pitch and that's it go back and uh, check the document save and I'm going to import those changes back so here I got all the dials they got the new parameter class name and the second resistor 2 and then I'm going to do like this and uh, sign import no difference detected and sometimes you have to move this so it updates and now I don't got the violations on these components I still got the violations on the on the um, MCU and I got the violation on the uh, USB connector so uh, let me try to add those as well to my class All right so properties okay, I'll click on it and add parameter and that will be class name and that will be fine pitch say okay and finally the connector So that's uh, yes, two more parameters will be updated and they close. And uh, still nothing happens here because I will have to move the PCB around so it updates. So that's it. Now everything is clear. And uh, what I have to keep in mind now is that if I'm going to be adding components, or I can of course put it in the, in the library. Uh, with the same footprint they have to have that class so this will be updated and clear yes that should that should be it that should help me out next time when I forget about this one more time yeah